Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Max Stern Athletic Center on the campus of Yeshiva University for the 2023 MYHS AL Basketball Championships. You are watching live coverage of the Junior Varsity Championship pregame show on this co-production between Max Live and the Yeshiva Sports Network. I'm Elliot Weisselberg. A year after two championship matchups, unique by the fact that all four participants were situated in New York, we return to the more traditional New York, New Jersey flair with a little fun twist thrown in. Later this afternoon, the varsity crown will be the center of attention as East champion North Shore will look to compete and look to complete an undefeated season against West champion Frisch. But first, our matinee game today will see the JV title up for grabs as West champion TABC looks to stamp their undefeated season as they square off with West number two Ramaz. For North Shore and Ramaz, this will be the second year in a row that they appear at Yeshiva University. However, unlike last year, North Shore, the defending JV champion, will be competing for the varsity title, while Ramaz, the varsity the defending champion will be here to cheer their team on for the JV championship. That is where we will begin our coverage of today's proceedings. When we return, we will get you all set for all of today's action, live from the Max Stern Athletic Center here on Basketball Championship Sunday. My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of the cell. I made my painting from scratch. Like, really, from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The university museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning. And welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center and to Max Live and Yeshiva Sports Network's dual presentation of the JV Basketball Championship. Thank you to our sponsor, Nachum Siegel Network, for exciting live coverage of Jewish music, Israel news, and Torah segments. Tune in to JMDM every weekday morning on the Nachum Siegel Network, the NSN app. We kick off our basketball coverage with the JV Championship. It's been a tremendous season for the TABC store. Ten regular season contests, ten wins. A number one seed in a stacked West field. A bye to the quarterfinals, a slamming of Hafter, and nearly doubling up SAR to get to today. Of their 12 contests, including playoffs, only one has ended with a single-digit margin and either a number one or number two rank on Yeshiva League Pass. TABC season to this point has been nothing short of, for lack of a better word, perfect. Sophomores Ayel Kindelera and Yona Mandel have been menaces all season with plenty of apt help, and the Storm would crime to put the exclamation point on a title that they last won in 2018, the middle contest of a three-year battle with Mag and David. For the Ramaz Rams, the road has brought about a bit more adventure. Ramaz dropped two of their first four contests, losing by 15 to TABC and SAR before righting the ship and polishing off the regular season at 8-2, taking the West number two season in the process. They were put to the test in the postseason right away, falling behind and coming back against defending champion North Shore, and then a stunning victory over the team that many had already punched a ticket for in today's proceedings, East champion Mag and David. Isaac Ohayon's monster game certainly put people on notice that the Rams have turned a corner and are not to be overlooked. For a deeper dive into both teams, as we welcome you, our viewers, let's also welcome our usual color commentator to the mic, first JV coach, multi-time champion, and no stranger to championship Sunday, Coach W. Foreman. Thank you guys, very nice to be here. Coach, one of the many bright spots of you being here, overshadowing the negative, of course, of you not being down there, is that you have had the chance to pour over, break down, and match up with our finalists. Why are we standing here getting ready to watch these two teams before us today? Well, um, as, as you mentioned, uh, TABC has been so far the cream of the, of the crop um, across the JV uh, landscape. Um, they have a tremendous player in A.L. A. A. Kindelera, uh, great coaching with Oz, a very deep and, and very big team, frankly. Um, and right now, Ramaz also is playing exceptionally well. Um, they, they, uh, they, uh, they, they, they're playing with incredible chemistry. Um, and they also have a great coach in Coach Ellie. And this is going to be a great matchup between two really solid, well-coached teams. 
so we've discussed the marquee players in today's contest. Let's look a little deeper. Is there anyone that our viewers may not be familiar with that could prove to be crucial in success of either team on the score sheet or otherwise? Well, on the Ramaz Rams, I'm looking at number 34, Isaac Ohayon. Um, here's a sophomore who did not make the, the team as a freshman. Um, came in this year, was solid, and just literally every single game has gotten better. He is exceptional from the high post, attacking the basket. Very athletic, a very good player. Uh, they have, Ramaz has exceptional shooters in Sugar um, and Segura, and a very talented freshman at point guard in Asaf Seinfeld. On the TABC side, um, an X factor is Yakir Adams, who, who's coming over from JEC, a transfer over to TABC. Really another big, strong player, number 35. And one who people are not so familiar with is Ezra Stern, uh, number 25, a sophomore. He is a very athletic, uh, very strong player, very skilled, a little bit of a wild card, and we'll see how Oz uses him today. It'll be interesting to see. So you talked about the coaches in today's matchup. Let's talk a little bit about the experience factor of both uh, and what they bring here today. Well, I mean, Oz is, uh, has been here before um, on varsity and JV level. He's been around the league for a while. Ellie, first time, but um, has been a player in the league, certainly understands uh, pressure, um, and as we all know, pressure is a privilege, and uh, really brings a, uh, a little bit more of a, uh, not as, a, you know, a little bit more of a, of a new look to it, but to me, the Ramaz Rams are playing with exceptional chemistry and camaraderie. They are playing as a team, and that is an absolute credit to their coach, Ellie. So let's take our viewers back to last year. Standing in front of us, we had a, uh, a very interesting opening to our contest where North Shore really ran out on Mag and David and, and dug Mag and David into an early hole before they came back. Uh, I think it's safe to say that an early hole is not preferential for either side. So what do each of these teams have to be aware of today to most, uh, most to avoid digging themselves into an early hole such as last year? Well, Ramaz, I don't want to say lives and dies, but is an exceptional three-point shooting team. So uh, certainly interesting to see how uh, TABC defends that. Um, Ayal Kindelera clearly is um, one of, if not these, the best players in the league. Ramaz is a strict man-to-man, -man, strictly man-to-man, -man, plays an exceptional man-to-man. -man. You'll actually notice during the course of the game, their man-to-man -man looks a little bit like a zone. And as we all know, um, good zone, good man-to-man -man looks like a zone. Um, so in terms of how they utilize Ayal, can they get him, all, you know, could they have, uh, will, will Ramaz be fronting him? Um, can he get the ball and, and putbacks? And certainly uh, rebounding is going to be a factor. So th those are really the keys on to getting off to a good start. In your, co in your uh, conversations with the Ramaz side in that regard, have they given you an indication about who might have the, dare I say, honor of uh, matching up against uh, Ayal Kindelera early on. They have. Coach Ellie said uh, Ohayon's going to be on Ayal, which I guess really th they're limited in size, but at the same time, that puts them at a disadvantage with obviously foul trouble. You know, as we all know, you know, who, who's getting into foul trouble first is going to be a, is a huge factor here. So Ohayon gets the honor, if you will, with Kindelera. Be interesting to see if he picks up early foul trouble or how that goes. But Ohayon being an X factor on the Ramaz side, you certainly don't want to tire him out on the defensive end. But well, they're limited with size. Well, right now we are. We see both teams on the floor. The clock reads about 1:45 left to go. So that means that in about two hours, maybe a little less, one of these two teams will be hoisting the trophy because they did X right for 32 minutes. What is the X for both sides? Ramaz, it's going to be three-point shooting and defense. Um, TABC, it's going to be Ayal Kindelera. And I don't mean by Ayal Kindelera doing right. I mean how they utilize him and offensive rebound for TABC. All right. Well, that about sets the stage for today's JV Championship. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we'll have the pregame introductions, the national anthems, and tip-off of the 2023 MYHS AL JV Basketball Championship right here on Max Live and the Yeshiva Sports Network.
to Max Earn Athletic Center on the campus of Yeshiva University. Clock is ticking down, about 10 seconds left. Dovey, you've coached on this stage. None of these players have played on this stage. As we, get, as we wind down and as we get towards the introductions, how is this, how is this court and how is this crowd going to play a factor in this championship game? Well, TABC, I think, is used to a little bit of a bigger court. Ramaz has a nice home field advantage, although um, their, their new athletic director, who just brings championships, Ari Wickes, um, redid their court, so their court's a little bit wider. Um, the court is a factor. Bigger courts tend to, um, tend to favor TABC, I believe, here. Um, the fans, as they, uh, as they start to pack in a little bit, who's louder. At the end of the day, the ball is tipped. When you're a player and you're a coach, you're focused. You don't hear anything anymore. And, and it's just play ball. All right, we're going to send everybody down to Commissioner Seth Gordon with the introduction to today's game.
it's interesting to note, uh, this is one of the few color clashes uh, that, we, uh, that we can have in the Yeshiva League. See in front of us on our left, we have the TABC Storm in their home gold with blue and white trim. And to our right, Hamas in the blue with the white and gold trim. Uh, we've had that before with TABC and Mag and David, but it's good to see the uh, it's good to see Hazaka here in uh, Max Athletic Center with colors. Yeah, I like TABC's home uh, gold. Interesting, nice uh, diversion from the typical white. So we're going to have TABC starting from your left and going to your right, as I said before. And you'll have Hamas coming out in their blue, going from your right to left to start the championship game with eight minutes on the clock. TABC and Ramaz, the one and the two seed in the West, getting ready for tip-off. Two faced earlier on this year, again, a 15-point win by TABC. Clearly a lot has changed for the Ramaz Rams in between them. Yeah, I expect, uh, expect Ramaz to come out in the man-to-man, -man, as they always do. Um, not 100% certain how TABC, they typically start in the man. We'll see what Oz has uh, in store. Small crowd, but I guess they're sort of uh, shuffling in a little bit late. We'd expect a little bit of a bigger crowd uh, to start. We get ready for dip off. And we are underway. Ohio gets it himself, gets it over the sugar. Ramaz will walk up the court as we start off today's proceedings. Ramaz in the man. Seinfeld. Seinfeld at the top. Looking for an entry. Back up to the top for Segura. Hands the ball off. Good work. Seinfeld. Seinfeld to the back of it. Ohio. Trying to get around Kimbalera. Ohio up and under. And he misses. Kimbalera with the rebound. The ABC coming back the other way. And a good look. Kimbalera tries to drive through. Draws three men. Kaiser throws it all the way out to Adams. He misses the three. Ramaz getting it back. 7 10 to go. First quarter of play. You expect a little nerves coming down on both sides. Three pointer a little bit short. Oh, Hyun with the uh, with the short bucket of the Last year, I think we saw the best and the worst of uh, coming out with nerves. In the early session, we had North Shore draining threes from left and right, and then the varsity session, one bucket for, for the champion Ramaz in the first quarter, one field goal. Uh, still able to work it out for the victory, TABC. And we have a three-pointer from David Sachs to start the contest off. You'll see with uh, TBC on the defensive end, very few second chance points for Ramaz, I expect tonight. They're just too big. Uh, TBC cleans up the board pretty quickly. Sugar doing the dribbling duties. Oh, hey, on up top. Hands it over to Seinfeld. Seinfeld dishes it over to Borkoff. Borkoff down to Ohio. Ohio under the basket, up and in. 3 2 TABC. Ayal sitting a little bit off on Ohio there. Um, fell asleep a little bit. Ohio got behind him. Easy ball. Managed to work his way right to the half circles underneath. Almost easy there with nobody on you. Out. Hey, I'm looking to seal as you see. Throws it over to Sox. Oh, that was Kim Valerian. Apologies. Segura with the rebound. Very nice defense. Really, Ramaz plays very good out defense. Okay, four ball. Just getting the numbers down as we start. Seinfeld. Over to Borkov. Borkov setting up. Over to Sugar. Comes around the screen. Oh, nice, nice double stagger for Sugar. It's a good shooter. Seinfeld now coming around. Back to Ohio. Ohio with Kindler on top on him. The 34 is against each other. Tries to drive. Almost saves it. Cannot get there. We'll go back to ABC right. I like what Ellie's doing and what Ohio's doing. They're going to attack Ayal. I mean, Ohio really has really good speed and athleticism. So could, um, if Ayal's off him, try to attack him and draw fouls. Mandel dribbling up. Going to get to the one. Over to Sachs. Sachs in low to Kindler. Kindler pulls around with the floater. Cannot get it to land. Seinfeld with the rebound. Five minutes left to go. 3 2 TABC. Ohio. Back to Seinfeld. Coming around the screen. Back to Seinfeld. Back to Sugar. Looking to get Sugar up on the three point. From the foul line. Motor and in. And Ramaz takes their first lead of the game. 4 3. Ain't the foul. Shoot the rock, Sugar. Really good shooter. Nice Sugar. Nice job. Sugar with a sweet touch from the three point line. Ramaz takes it. First lead, Mandel tries to do the same the other way and gets it to fall. 5 4 TABC. Very nice move, very nice attack by uh, Mandel. Very nice point guard. Uh, a little bit of a shooter 
first, but uh, very strong play. Sugar throws it around the arc. Ends up in Elhayo, so that's back to Seinfeld. Seinfeld over to Borkov. Borkov makes left, goes right. Sugar. Oh, Seinfeld in the corner, gets it to land. Seinfeld with the three, seven, five, Ramaz. As we spoke about, Ramaz is an excellent three-point shooter. So Seinfeld, Sugar, and uh, Segura are three-point shooters. The two seed taking the early two-point lead. Kaiser into Kinderler. Kemmick got it to go. Ramaz pulls down the rebound. Coming back is Ohio. Ohio on Kaiser. Sends it out to Segura. Segura rolls around. Finger rolling in. 9-5 Ramaz. I like what I'm seeing so far from the West. They're letting them play a little bit. I like it. We got four different Ramaz players with points early on. That's a great way to get everybody back in. Kinderlair. Adam. And we got a three from Kaiser. Does not fall, but the rebound for Adams. And Adams up and in. Great look for Adams underneath the basket. That's okay. Good dribble driving kick. Very nicely done. Excellent spacing by TBC. Uh, four weeks on the uh, rebound. Ohio on the left. Tries to roll it in. Cannot get there. TBC comes down with it. Goes in the hands of Mandel. Mandel pulling up the floor. Surveying the scene. Spreading it around. Sacks. Cannot. Get, oh. That didn't get where it was supposed to go. Seinfeld. Tries to send it off to Sugar. Sugar able to save it. What a great save. Seinfeld in the corner. Segura. As he'll pull out and let Ramaz set up their offense. 2.38 to go. First period to play. 9-7 Ramaz. See, Ramaz doing a really nice job. Olayon's outside the paint, brings Ayal up with him, and uh, allows them to spread the floor a little bit and not have their uh, their strong defender, Kindler, in the paint. Do you see them activating the wings at any point? crossing in behind to look for a back At pass. some point, you're going to, as they start to cheat TABC off the sets, you're going to get back doors. Sugar cannot get it to go. Kindler with the rebound over to Mandel, and they'll set up the floor with just about two minutes to go here in the first. So far, very few, if none, second chance points for Ramaz. The other, uh, TABC did a nice job on the boards. Kindler cannot get it to go. Kindler with a little bit of a lid on the rim to start the game. Getting good opportunities, not able to land them. A little bit of a force there, but like maybe a little pitch there, a good defense for Ramaz. Sugar, Ohio, Ohio trying to get a run there. There he goes, he got it, great entry. The, 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 the strategy here is outstanding by Ellie. He's dragging Ayal up, and Ohio with that, his athleticism can attack, and uh, he was able to finish that time. Nice job. Oh, it's playing by the time we got our first foul on Evan Borkov. I, I, I don't understand Borkov there. You have whatever, 30 feet away from the basket. You have. That's about that's about 40. That's about 40. <laughs> we're uh, 45. We're at full NBA length here. Or yeah. Not NBA, full college length here. You have Mandela at half court. Nothing going on. Why foul? It's a, it's a silly foul. First sub of the day, Samuel Levine coming on. Kindler taking a seat. He will stick around with the other four. Sammy to be a nice spark plug, very nice shooter. You got to get out on the shots. Clearly, Sammy's not filling up Kindler's slot, so we'll see as the uh, team the team picks up the old ball. He's probably just giving Ayal a little bit of a time on the bench to sit and collect his thoughts. He was forcing a couple shots. Adams trying to run his way through. Foul will be called on. Let's see who they gave it to. I think it was a tip out. Foul was going to be on on Ohio, so oh. that's his first. Mandel gets him to Adams. Adams comes around, cannot get it to land. 105 to go. Ramaz with a chance to extend their four point lead. Ohio wide open, puts it up and in. Great transition offense, just as poor transition defense. CBC has to get back. Six points for Ohio early. Mandel in the corner, sacks. Cannot get it to go. Ramaz cooking on all cylinders here. And looking to extend to double up to ABC with 39 to go. Think they're going to hold? I think one shot here. Unless you got to practice this all the time, but at this point they got a nice lead. No, no reason to rush, but on cue. Oh, I think that was the goal. I think the goal was to, was to either draw a foul or have a kick out. So one of those two accomplished. Really no panic needed with TABC now. It's a six-point game. They're getting open looks, a couple nerves. They're running good offensive sets. 
Just got to get back on defense. Under the basket. Back around the key. Oh, throws it right back out for a three. Borkoff can get here, but a rebound by Segura, and he'll put it up and get the foul. 20 seconds to go. Bobby Segura will go to the line for two shots. Exceptional out of bounds set there. Really nice job. Really nice kick off the help defense. Very nice to Ramaz up six, 13 7. A chance to double TABC's lead. Going into the initial. That's it to go. That's three points for Segura so far. As you'll see for the first time, Stanley Carey and Josh Davidson. An oh, excellent sub by Coach Ellie. Give the kids a little break before the first quarter. You get 20 seconds of game time, probably five minutes of real time. Nice sub. Second shot does not roll. Ball will go TBC's way. 17-5. Ramaz presently up by seven. Surprising start. TABC having a little less on the, uh, and we're going to get a, a sub here. Kindler coming back in. Interesting. Oz yelling at the ref for the sub, but the refs, you gotta, you gotta sound the horn at the, at the gotta scores Gotta get the scores table. table. Yeah. And they're gonna go, uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna go let the, they're gonna <laughs> let the kids know. Scores table, you gotta hit the buzzer. This time out just gives Ohio a little breather. A little, a little bit of extra breather. Oh, yeah. Mandel. Picks it up. 15 seconds. Crosses the timeline. Over to Kaiser. Kaiser dribbling around. Kicks it out to Sachs. Sachs puts it up. Short. Ramaz takes it. Coming back the other way. Carries it again at the buzzer. Oh! Excellent defense by Devin Sachs. What a block by Sachs. Not .9 seconds to go. And they're going to bring they're going to bring Ohio and Borka back in for defensive purposes for four Watch nine. the lob. Watch the lob to Ohio here. Interesting to see. Maybe they kick it out to the uh, three here. The point, point nine. I don't. Do you have a chance to to catch and and put it up with point nine? Under the basket. Oh, and it's going to go off with three point seconds. Point three seconds left. to go off Ohio's leg, and it's going to go back to ABC Way. Not really an opportunity to do anything here. So. It's, they're either going to try to roll it up the floor for a better angle, or they're just going to hold it in. That didn't go anywhere. Zero's on the clock at the end of the first quarter of play. Ramaz up 14-7. 2023 MYHSAL JP Basketball Championship. We'll be back momentarily. MYHSAL JV Basketball Championship was sponsored by the Nahum Siegel Network. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, look forward every morning to JM in the AM, every Tuesday morning to the JM in the AM Sports Update. We'll have a full recap of this game coming up. Coach, as we mentioned all along the first quarter, Isaac Ohayon working the strategy to perfection. Six points leading the game, almost taking on the ABC by himself. Really doing a nice job by uh, executing probably the strategy here of dragging it all up attacking him off the post. So if you're at the ABC now, how do you counter, given the uh, frustrations that Ayala was, happen, was having on the offense? But clearly, you want to keep going to him until he starts getting it. But what have you got to do strategically to get him in a better position? Um, at this point, just stick to the game plan. Um, I've got to knock down a couple threes. And um, you know, just stick to, stick to what got you here. No need for a panic yet. The ABC has it up to four sacks. Comes around the screen by Kindler, gets it to Kaiser. Tries to get it around, gets it back to Mandel. Kindler at the free throw. Let everything generate off Ayal touches. He got it. He's got to touch the ball in every possession. 
Sachs with a nice drive, touch, and in. Sachs with the opening two points to this quarter. Five on the, de on the day already for him. The only thing I'd be saying to TBC is, again, don't rush your three-point shots and let, and let the offense run through Ayal and then kick it out from there. Sugar airmails the three, and we'll go back to UBC Way. He's a good shooter, but I don't like that shot. That's a rush shot. They've been running really effective, good offensive sets. No reason for that. At this point, the more time you can run off the clock by running your sets, getting getting open, probably better for Ramaz than it is just trying to look for the trick points. Yeah. Sachs comes back around to his left. Sachs dribbles a pass, dribble pass over. Down low, Kindler. Kindler works his way in. Can I get there? Off the wall. Ah, and we got Excellent. a trip by Ste Seinfeld tripped on his own. And now they're going to call a foul on Stern. Oh, wow. Uh, Sachs, that's that's on Sachs. Sachs. That's, a, that's a rough call. Kid slips. Seinfeld slips. He didn't see it. He was behind it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough call. Normally used to tripping in hockey, not in basketball. <laughs> Seinfeld coming up the floor. Segura. Sets a screen for Sugar, who gets it back. And one of these nice staggers for Sugar, as you see. And then let now he attacks Ohio. There you go. Ohio dribbles, turns to his right, and he gets it to go. Everything is falling. Very, down. very dangerous and lethal from the high post. Exceptionally good for him. TABC rushing a bit. Oh, nice defense there. That's a goal. Coming back the other way, Sugar. Sugar on sacks. Goes for the up and under, and it's in. Great play. Time out, Oz. Good time out. Very nice, uh, very nice Euro but from uh, Sugar there. Left-handed finish, excellent timeout by Oz. Time to regroup. Six minutes to go. Ramaz doubling up the ABC, 18 to nine. Great little offensive start to Ramaz. TABC looking a little tentative, a little bit uh, overwhelmed by the moment to start this game. A little bit tentative, but, but still getting the shots, getting the looks that they want, uh, and, and at that point, listen, the laws of averages are going are gonna to equal out. They're going to start falling. Um, Got to do a little bit better job on Ohio from the, uh, from the high post. I'm wondering if Oz goes to a zone. The problem with the zone is they're just too – Ramaz is just way too good from the outside where I, I, I suspect he'll stay in the zone. Got to do a better job of, uh, of defending Ohio out of the post. If you were to go to a zone, which one could you effectively go to and not leave any of the wings open? Again, uh, you know, you'd probably be in a 3-2. I'm not sure what Oz is practicing in, uh, for his team. 3-2 exposes, as we know, the corners in the high post. Exactly. Um, but obviously the wing shooters. Ramaz is a, a very good shooting team. As you can see, they play exceptionally well together. Good camaraderie, good, uh, really good chemistry. TBC's just got to slow it down, relax, run their sets. Extremely talented team. We have an up-tempo game here to start today. Again, we have the Barton Chapter coming in after. Mandel. Gets it over to Sachs. Sachs gets it over to Kaiser. Kaiser. See, they put two. You see, they like chip Ayal every time. It's a nice job. They put two bodies and put sort of chip as they cut through, which is a nice job. Kindler has it at the three. Hands it over to Mandel. Mandel puts up a three. Planks off the back and goes to Ohio. Seinfeld going to walk up the floor with the basketball. Sugar setting up the offense, calling for a screen. Puts up the three, off the back. What a what a nice tip by the TABC. Going to get the ball anyway. Sacks. Sorry, that's Mandel now. Yeah, that's Mandel. TABC's got to do a better job of getting the ball inside. There we go. Zero. As you see, right away, they combine. Zeros and threes look a little differently until you can see them. <laughs> look, look, look the same until you can see them in full. And we have a foul. As you see, uh, Kindlera touches the ball, they collapse. So it's going to be up to somebody on the TBC side to knock down an outside shot when they collapse. But the ball has to come into Ayal. The offense has to run through Ayal. So that is the second foul on Ohio, and Ohio has to be a little careful. Kindlera puts the ball out. And it's going to be Sachs taking it, not getting it to fall. Kindlera pulls down the rebound. Turns, pivots, and he gets it to go. There we go. Kindler getting, the getting a, away a little bit, lowering his shoulder on that, but again, the rest are letting him play. Defense, defense, defense. And Mosman back up the floor. Segura. Doesn't get the three. Bumped it to by Seinfeld, and that's going to cause him. Ah, we got a, we're getting a push. 
Is it going to be a push or a travel there? And they gave a foul to TDC. And so Ramaz will inbound it. Crowd's starting to fill in a little bit better. Segura going to inbound it. He's going to give the foul to Kaiser, his first on the afternoon. Segura. Off. When I was talking about my X Factor before, Ezra Stern, I'm wondering if you bring him in and have him guard Ohayon out of the post and give Ayala a little breather on that. Not necessarily take him out, but Ezra's a big, quick kid also. Hasn't seen it yet. Let's see what happens as we, as we progress. Seinfeld looking to drive. Puts the floater up. Does not get it off the backboard. Kinderlayer with the rebound. And Mandel at sacks. Again, the three and the zero. Let's hope I get that. Let's hope I get that at some point. <laughs> Double high look here for TVC. Horn set they're running here. Ball gets inside. Kindler. Free throw line. Spins, puts it up on the backboard. And it looks like Kindler is finally getting going. And they had a timeout. So Oz runs a very nice horn set. Screen across for Ayal. Um, they spread the ball nicely with the corners. If anyone helps, they have kick from the corner. So nice job. Oz usually calls his timeout. I'm not sure if he's going to do it here and runs a diamond press off his timeout. We'll see what he does here. So 3.50 to go. Second quarter, 18-13 Ramaz. Ramaz had leads of 7-9 and nine in this opening half of play. Certainly uh, a departure from the regular season for TABC. TABC used to being up and starting out with a with the lead and really carrying throughout, taking a little bit of time getting going, but it seems as if uh, seems as if the main players have now uh, really started to get their stride. Absolutely. Again, five-point game, three and a half, 350 left in the third. Keep this manageable at this point, or obviously take the lead. TBC, no reason to panic. Ramaz got off to a nice start, and here we go into the press, as we said. Okay, so he's going to a 1-2-2, two, two, not the diamond. Seinfeld being hounded by Levine. Great play by Levine. Levine puts it up, and he gets the bucket. Great all-around play solo by Levine. I like Oz's move here with the, with the press. He got to change something up. Something's got to change on the momentum. Clearly it worked. Broke the press here. Seinfeld. Great work by Ohayon at the line. Seinfeld to his left. Hands it off to Segura. To Sugar. Puts it down low. Out on the wing. Nice curl Sugar. by Seinfeld. Sugar comes around to his left, and we're going to get an offensive foul. Not sure about that one. I didn't see anything, did you? Uh, I wasn't looking at Segura at that point. I was looking at the ball. Yeah, that was an interesting ball. Um, again, they run some staggers for Sugar, and then off of that, they try to hit Ohio in the high post and he attacks. Ramaz has been a little bit stagnant in the past two, three minutes. Kinderler loses the hit, handles. Segura. Puts it back to Seinfeld. Three point lead for Ramaz. Sugar. Big possession here for Ramaz. Ohio. Seinfeld. Over to Carey. Carey comes around, tries to drive himself, kicks it back out. Three pointer does not fall. And teams will come back the other way with a chance to cut it to one or tie the game. Good dribble driving too. And up. He tried the timeline. Carey. Kicks it back out, gets the call from Coach Oz. Ribbles, tries to come around, kicks it back out. And Levine drains it. Sam Sammy Levine, the spark plug, bringing them back almost by himself. Five points, Ohio puts it up, and he'll get the two. Ohio breaking a 9-0 run from TABC. Not sure about that. It looked like a double dribble. I know the ref said he kicked. I'm not sure there was a collection of, uh, of the ball there. I might have got away with it. Kindler into the corner to Levine, the hot hand. Sacks over to Kindler. Kindler spins. Anything that calls for the walk. I again, TBC, I like what they're doing. They're going through a y'all. What they need to do. Sticking with the 1 2 2 here with us. 145, and we are back to a one possession game. Segura looking to break the press. Seinfeld getting dangerously close. Able to dribble through. He's got a lane. Gets it over to Carey, who's wide open for three. Cannot get it to fall. Kinderlera pulls down the rebound. And Mandel will look to set up an offense. Get this game back to tie 
if he can, or even the lead. Takes the drive. That was a wild run, and he's going to give him the offensive foul. Went up awkwardly, and he came down awkwardly, too, holding his wrist now. Coach Ellie really teaches that. Oh, boy. Is he hurt? Yeah, he, he came down, landing hard on, directly on the floor of his wrist. He's a gamer, though. It looks as if he'll, yeah. he's going to try to go it. All right, he's okay. Good. Minute, minute 19, if he can't, uh, if he can't, we'll have to see how TABC adjusts. Coach Ellie does a nice job on the man-to-man, -man, really has him stepping in to take charges. If in the 1-2-2, two, two, you're going to give up three pointers, you just got to make sure that you can test them if they're not wide open. Keep an eye on Mandel, flexing his wrist. Yeah. Seinfeld, around to Sugar. He's holding that. That'll be interesting to watch that moving forward. Segura. Oh, Hayon. Oh, yeah, look at the drive. And we'll get the foul from Kindler. He's going up for two. Uh, they called it, I think, on five. Ah, I thought they got lucky. it was on the body then, I guess. <laughs> so they called uh, it on the floor. No, wait. Oh, that on? I guess they just called it out of bounds. I know it was on AL. You're right. They called it on AL. All right, there you go. Good flex cut off the out of bounds. Really <laughs> nice flex cut. Sugar with the two. Lead is back to four with 50 to go. First half of play in the JV Championship. Kindler, when he got a foul. Ohayon's third. Oh, this is big now. Ohayon's third before the break. Ramaz got to be a little more careful at this point. That is huge. Absolutely huge. Davidson coming back in. Levine. Gets it to Sachs. Sachs pulls around to his left. And it's taken away. Segura, 38 seconds left. Looks like they may hold. At this point, Ohayon's, you know, not going to step on the court till midway through the third quarter. You got to expect, right? So you got to, maybe it's at this point, if you're Ramaz, this is how you play the rest of the, <laughs> not only the rest of this half, but really even to start the next half. Keep possession, slow it down. It's really a shame, though, because they've been running and gunning a little bit, and you don't want to slow it down. But at this point, with Ohio on, on, the, on the bench with three fouls, one possession here, going to the locker room, either up four or up. A long range yeah. three, and he nails it off the window. Or up seven off the bench. Great job by, by Segura. Momentum for Ramaz. And hold oh, on, wow. we got a foul. We got a bailout foul before the end of the half. going to be Sacks on the line. Seven point lead for Ramaz right now. Zero showing on the clock. So Sacks is going to be by himself before we run into the break. Oh yeah, that was on uh, Segura, right? That's his second yep. also, right? Yep. Segura and Ohayon both have more than one. The only ones have more than one as it wins out. Listen, ultimately Sachs. it's going to be as it is in JV basketball or Yeshiva League basketball, foul trouble. Who can stay out of it? Before we go into the break. Then I get it to go. Uh, good break for Ramaz. Up seven. We'll be back shortly with the halftime recap here at the 2023 MYHSAL JV Championship live on the Max Live and Nakam Seedle. Sorry, and the Yeshiva Sports Network production sponsored by Nakam Seedle Network. We'll be back momentarily.
At Jumpshot, we believe that basketball is not an individual or isolated event that happens in your life, only on the court. With that in mind, we created a program giving kids the skills to get better at basketball while also tapping into the hidden potential of how you can get better at the very game of life itself. We're taking basketball and we're supplementing it with a heavy load of thorough learning, chesed opportunities, and a focus on personal growth. When you get home from the summer, you will be a better basketball player. You gotta be willing to give us your all, but not for us. You gotta be willing to give it to yourself. See you next summer on Jump Shot. And we're back from the Maxwell Athletic Center on the campus of GV University for the 2023 MYHSAL JV Championship game. I'm Elliot Weisselberg, along with Frisch JV head coach, W. Foreman. Coach, very interesting first half of play here. Seeing uh, Ramaz really using their strategy to perfection, either down low with Ohio or kicking it out to Sugar. Both of them the leading scores on the game. Ohio with 10, Sugar with 9. Yep, um, clearly looking to drag Ayal out from inside the paint where he could do defensive damage with uh, you know, altering a shot or blocking a shot. Um, they run some nice uh, staggers and double staggers off weak side off ball screens for Sugar and Segura. If they don't get that, they, they, uh, they hit Ohayon on the, on the free throw line and he, and he does a really good job of attacking. They've really come in, what it looks like is they've come in with a game plan, they've stuck to the game plan, they went a little bit off in the, for a couple minutes in the second, but really stuck to it. Now it's interesting to see how they adjust with Ohayon on the bench starting the third. Well, Ohayon foul trouble picking up his third foul with about a minute and change to go into uh, uh, out of that second quarter of play. So we're going to have to see uh, Josh Davidson potentially stepping up. And in the question is, can Davidson do the same thing on the offensive end that uh, that Ohio has been able to do? Um, not, not that I've seen. Not saying he can't. Ultimately, uh, you know, it's it's uh, you're you're going to get out there and you're going to be put in position to uh, succeed or or to fail. And we'll see how he steps up to it. Ohio, as you see, has just extreme athleticism and really a, with a strong vigor of attacking the basket. Both, Haven't seen the same thing out of Davis. Well, well Ramaz able to uh, to keep and maintain the lead that they set at the end of the first quarter, even though TABC able to bring it back to a tie. Ramaz finished that quarter on a 7-0 run. Uh, TABC able to get back into it, though, by the play of Sammy Levine. Play of Sammy Levine and also the press which interestingly enough because um, you know we've run it also against Ramaz, uh, my, my first JV team and they really uh, they executed well off it but uh, TABC did a really nice job they got a couple turnovers they got a couple of rush shots when we were talking about when Ramaz went a little bit off off of uh, off script if you will um, as the, when they broke the the 12 press you try to teach the offense when you break the press the 12 press is a very low risk high reward press and what I mean by that is high reward you're gonna get steals turnovers low risk that if it's broken you're not gonna give up easy buckets say that you would in a 2-2-1 or a diamond press and Ramaz, they're breaking it, but they're rushing to three as opposed to break it and reset because they were running really good sets up in the half court. So again, you are watching the halftime show live on Max Live and the Chief Sports Network coming to you from the Max Live Athletic Center on, on the campus of the Chief University. Thank you for our sponsor, the Mountain Network. So coach, now with, as we discussed, with Ohio in foul trouble and, and, and offensively, got to find a different way also just to, just to alleviate the need for him on the floor. Well, they have shooters, so my, my guess is Ellie will adjust. He'll run some more um, off-ball screens, maybe some high pick and rolls for his shooters with, uh, with Seinfeld and then Segura and Sugar. But let's talk a little bit on the flip side on the TBC side. I'm Oz, I'm going into that locker room and it's 34, 34, 34. It's Eyal, Eyal, Eyal. And I'm generating all my offense from the Eyal. And then off of that, if they double off of that. Right now, Ohayon's out. You're gonna have someone, uh, less, uh, someone less prepared, if you will. Someone a little bit smaller, if you will, off Eyal where he could go and attack. And then obviously the counter to that is they'll have to double. Now you have the TABC uh, three-pointers exposed a little bit, and they're going to have to now knock down some shots. So 34, Kindler finally getting onto the scoreboard, getting four points in that second quarter of play after not being able to find the basket in the first. 
so coming out of the coming out of the break with about 130 left tabc led by Sachs and levine with five kindler with four again over on the ramaz end you have ohayon with 10 sugar with nine 11 all 11 of ramaz's points during that quarter coming from those two um looks as if everybody's sort of settled in and i mean at this point you're halfway through the game and TABC coming out of the locker room a little bit late, and looks like they're just going to potentially head to the bench instead of getting a little bit of warm up. But uh, as you said, Coach Oz, X's and O's may be making the difference in the locker room instead of a uh, couple of seconds for warm up. Yeah, um, we'll obviously see what he does with Oyon on the bench, and we'll actually see. You know, a lot of times when, it, when you have three when you have three fouls, right? You're going to put the guy on the bench. Clearly, you got two more fouls with the whole half left to play. Depending on what TABC does, you have you may force Coach Ellie's hand, or you have to bring in Ohio a little bit earlier. Obviously, that's up to TABC to dictate. Um, Oz has been here before, an exceptional coach. I'm sure he drew up some adjustments. Uh, looking at from from my vantage point here, I I think TABC is doing a very nice job. They're executing. They're just not knocking down their shots. They're executing their sets. A little bit lax on the transition defense, which will shore up. Um, but I expect this to be a, a very good uh, second half and, and coming down to the wire. So we are about set for the second half of play. Again, Ramaz, a 25-18 lead. Ramaz from West TC coming in with a record of 8-2, uh, taking North Shore and... Uh, and Taking North Shore and Mag and David. Slipped my mind for a second there. On their way to the final with a lead over TABC. TABC looking to complete the undefeated season. Both, both teams with really, really good semifinal wins. TABC at home against, in my opinion, a extremely talented SAR JV squad from top to bottom. And Ramaz, a really exceptional semifinal victory. Had a very difficult place to play in Magan. Obviously, very well coached, as we know, all know from, from just being seeing Magan David at every championship. Um, they run a machine over there. So, really good semi Here we go. The ABC was a double up of SAR. Uh, really trying to set themselves up for this game. Right now, Ramaz with the ball. Segura. He was right. Ayal can play a lot more off his plays. You see, he's literally sitting in the paint. He's not worried about 13 right now. Side. Over to Davidson. The girl passes it to Sugar. Back to Seinfeld, and they're just going to be content to work it around the key. Seinfeld back over to Segura. Segura for the three. Rolls it in. Hit the iron. Segura, three pointer. And it is a 10 point Ramaz lead. Bobby Segura is their, their leader on this team. Kindler cannot get it to go. That's a second chance. Kaiser pulling it down, dribbles it back out. Segura, their vocal leader. Look at him play uh, Kindler down on defense. Um, they feed off his end. Mandel over to Kindler. Kindler trying to drive it, and we're going to have an offensive foul on Kindler. Segura was trying to draw a foul the entire way down there, finally got one at the end. Mandel still holding his wrist, right? So yep. Yeah. Still laboring a bit, but he's going to try to game this out. It's a championship. Yeah, Seinfeld almost looks coming up. Segura. Davidson to Seinfeld. Sugar. Seinfeld. Sugar puts up the three. Does not get it to go. Kindlero just outstretching Davidson. Uh, it's getting the open look, just not hitting it. Sacks. Counted at the line. Gets to Mandel. Mandel over to Kaiser. Into the corner for Sachs. Sachs pulls for the three, and he nails it. Nothing but net to Sachs. Well, it's Sachs coming from a generation of three-point shooters in the Sachs family. Had the honor and privilege of coaching his, uh, his older brother, Ellie. Really good ball players. Team trading threes to start off the second half of play. Davidson in entry to Seinfeld to get it to come. Whoa. Too easy. Relax on the defensive end. No reach. Seinfeld with his fifth point of the afternoon. 
Mandel puts it up, rolls off, pulled down by Seinfeld. And Seinfeld will bring the ball up himself. He's got to keep this within single digits here. Big possession for them on the defensive end. Sugar. Yep. And you're going to get a foul on Kindler on the way up. So that is Kindler's third. Not a good shot by Sugar, but got bailed out with the ball. So Kindler now matching Ohio. And we're going to get Sugar at the line for two. Okay, so it looks like Oz is bringing in the X Factor, what I said, but um, 25 Ezra Stern. Rolls in for Sugar. Hey, with three fouls. Yep. I like that he's I like that he's keeping him in. He's taking Adams out, which I don't love. I'd rather go with uh, Stern, Kindler, and Adams. But take Adams out. Sugar nails the second. 11 points on the afternoon. 11 point lead for Ramos. 5:33 to go. Third quarter of play. Still no need for panic. A ton, a ton of time. Beautiful move. Sachs takes it himself. Doesn't get the fall, but will get the foul. Oz calling his team over to regroup. I like it. David's got to settle himself down here and knock some free throws and get back on the defensive end. Borkov picking up his second foul. Sacks alone on the line. Cannot get the ball. Sacks missing the two at the end of the first half. Missing this as well. A little bit jittery on the open looks. Free throws aren't free, coach. <laughs> The problem is you don't see free throws on Instagram anymore. No one practices it. Ten point lead for Ramaz. Segura trying to cross over. Gets across the timeline. Spins. Gets it over to Borkov. Borkov gets it across. And great move to the basket. Sugar really powering the Ramaz offense here in this second half of play. 12-point lead. You see looking a little lost on this offensive set. Kindler kicks it out to Sachs. Sachs with the runner, can't get the ball. Kindler, and we have a foul. Who are they going to call it on? And they're going to give Segura his third. So now you have Segura and Ohio, and both in foul trouble. 444 here to go in this third quarter of play. Ramaz has not only survived the Ohio scare, they thrived in the Ohio scare, as we spoke about before. Great energy. PABC cannot drain their foul shots. The TABC, that is now one for, one for five on the afternoon with their foul shots. Off, we're going to get a foul. Fouls on uh, ah, it's the offensive foul. So Adams picks up his first. 12 point lead for Ramaz. Seinfeld sends it back. So go take it back to Seinfeld. Seinfeld forcing sacks on him. Sugar. The hot hand so far. You notice it's really good spacing by Ramaz. Really nice spacing. Driving pick. That's a nice block by Stern. Great play on the driving shoulder. Levine. Stern pulls it around with the roll. That's his first two points of the afternoon. Got a timeout. That's his third timeout, right? That's his third timeout. I believe so. Uh, it's just uh, interesting. Very really interesting. Not many to go. We need to save a couple for down the stretch, if we're not mistaken. We have 10-point game, 3.55 to go. 34-24, Ramaz over TABC. Ramaz with nine points to start this half. TABC with only six, stretching it out to double-digit lead again. Had leads as high as 12. 
And Elliot, you know, you, you mentioned save your timeouts. A big misnomer with fans, because all they do is watch NBA in college, right? Is is when you score in the in the in the NCAA now, the last minute is stop, and obviously the NBA is stop clock. In high school basketball, you put the ball through the net at the end of the game. The ball is the, the clock is continuing. You save those timeouts for a quick timeout off of and then to reset your, your press or your defense or whatnot, but the clock ticks. Theoretically, you could be down by four, hit a three, and the other team could just stand there and let the clock run down if it's under five. Seinfeld. Michael Gaborpa. TBC going with zone. One, two, two. Ohio back in the game, first time in the second half. Seinfeld. Ohio. Question, Coach, do you think there's a need for Ohio still up double digits? Can you let him sit for a little bit? Maybe save a little bit. Never take your foot off the pedal. These are high school kids. Never slow it down. Play your game. So I, I, I like the move. Mandel will come up the floor. I do like the odds move into the zone. You gotta bring something there. They're, they're just hurting the man. Stern over to over to Levine. Levine entry in the area. Good and the foul. Who are they gonna call it on? Either one is four fouls for either Ohio or Ohio. Looks like they call it on Borkoff. So Borkoff with his third down. So now Ramaz with three players with three fouls. Kindler to the line. Cannot get it. Go. Kindler missing his third free throw of the quarter. Maybe the Ramaz strategy now is just fouling into contact. Look, you said the world of average is important. The world of average just means that at some point you got to hit. There he goes, breaking the seal on the lid for this quarter. Still down by 11. Borkoff staying in the 1 2 2. Oh, hey, on. Over to Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Back to Borkoff. Corners and posts will be open. We got a foul. Fouls him down the beam. Sacks with the great reach in and pulling the ball away. But the beam getting called for the foul. TABC, had, uh, excuse me, Ramaz is running the same out of bounds flex screen off the man, and but look, looks like they're going to the zone here. Sugar pulls up for the jumper, front rim, and no. Kindler pulls it down. Not a good shot. Sacks. Sacks drives, puts it up, and kind of gets to go. That was a that was a good look, just a little too short on the pull up. Good save. Just couldn't finish. That's okay. It's a good take. Seinfeld. Okay. With two on him, and we got a foul. We give it to Mandel. Mandel will get his second of the afternoon. 2.23 to go in this sec in this third quarter of play. Ramaz up 34-25 again. You are watching the 2023 MYHSAL JV Championship sponsored by the Knock the Network. Live on Max Live and the Sports Network. Ramaz, TABC, Ramaz. The two seed taking it to TABC, and Sugar cannot get it to go. Ball saved. Mandel going to run it forward with it. Two minutes to go. Mandel behind the back. Kicks it out to Levine. Levine with the three. A little long. Pulled down by Ohio. Ohio battling with Stern. That's letting the play. Fourth off and lined up with it. Seinfeld gets it across the line. Sugar got a good look there. Sugar flashing through the middle. Kicks it back out to Sugar. Sugar pulls up. Gets the ball down low. Over to Ohio. Ohio puts it up off the backboard and in. Ohio making his mark in the second half. Great use of the short corner and the zone offense. Obviously, you like to be behind the defense in the short corner. Great use. Ramaz, 11 point lead, 123 to go. A little attendance away from Ramaz as a school that looking for their second championship last year on the varsity end. Now we're going to get a foul. We will get two shots from TABC. Sacks. I mean, you talked about last year's varsity championship and then the JV and the championship this year. That's a credit to their athletic director, Ari Wickes. Done a great job since he took over uh, two years ago. Sacks. One for five on the afternoon now. Leaving points off the scoreboard. TBC's got to start knocking down the free throws. Critical moment. Finally gets to land. That's number two on the afternoon for him. Two of six. 
10 point lead for Ramaz. 1-11 to go, third quarter of play. Your TABCU must keep this game in single digits going into the fourth quarter. Seinfeld, last swing with Segura. Segura to Ohayon for the three, doesn't go. Your TABC will take that. Of course, the question is should Ohayon should have it? <laughs> Ball rolls fortuitously over the sacks. Not sure should TBC should be stalling here. They want to keep this single. They want to make this single. Kaiser looking to drive. Kicks it back out to Stern. Stern pulls it over to Mandel. Mandel behind the back. Mandel gets it down low to Kindler. 33 seconds. Ball gets stripped. Down the court to, to Ohio. Ohio in and out. Mandel coming back the other way. Fast pace action down to his half. In this quarter, and double foul. Double foul. Oh, Segura and Kinderler both take number four. Elliot, it's interesting if you watch them both, they're both chirping at each other. I like it. Good, clean basketball. Is that number? Is that a five? Can, that's five. I I missed one in there. Segura out of the game. Wow. I missed one somewhere in there. Wow. Did Ellie miss that also? I'm not sure. Oh, he got a little bit of walk there. Stern. Oh, Davidson. Saved it, but it saves it right to Kaiser, who gets his first two points in the afternoon. He teach in second grade and on. Don't save the ball under the basket. Seinfeld. Dribbling around. Ohio. Pulls up to the free throw line. Sends it to Davidson. Davidson pulls it up. And it's blocked at the buzzer by Stern. Your score at the end of the third quarter. Robots 36, TBC 28. We'll be back momentarily with the fourth quarter play. So as we come back for the fourth quarter play, uh, I guess there's a little bit of uh, a discrepancy as to, uh, I guess, how many fouls Segura has. Uh, we only count to four, but the it says five, and I, I don't, we don't know where that other one came from, but it, fouls becoming a factor now for Ramaz. Ramaz, three players with three or more, one foul out. Kinderlair cannot get it to go. Tries to get it again, pulls it down again, we get another foul. Who's that gonna be on? Foul to it looks like. Are they going to give that to Davidson? Yep, looks like they're giving it to Davidson. Down low to Kindler. Kindler with Ohayon on him gets it to go. Important bucket. with Ramaz in foul trouble. They have to be a little more restrictive about how they play this game. Maybe they open it up. Now they're going to get it out of bounds. Careless turnover from Ramaz, 7.28 to go. Seven twenty-eight to go. GABC looking to cut it down to at least four. Let's re 
set the stage also. Kinderler and Ohayon. And we're gonna block and foul. Every time, every time Kinderler and Mads rides, you gotta be you gotta you gotta be holding your breath if you're if you're TABC. Because if you get him out of the game and Ohayon is still on the other end, chance for Hamas to extend without your best player and potentially the best player in the league on the court. Got to drain his free throws. Kindler one four so far. Cannot get it to go. Ooh. That is three for eleven for TABC. Four for eleven for TABC now. Game is a five point game, but. Five for, five for 12 in your free throws. Seven, seven missed opportunities. This could be 38-36 ABC. Horkoff. Cross the floor to Seinfeld. Back to Horkoff. Seinfeld. Over to Sugar. Back to Seinfeld. Pounded by Kaiser. Trying to drive. Sends it over to Davidson. Davidson loses the handle. Gets it back. Gets it. Back at the Borkov. Borkov to Seinfeld. Gets it across the floor. Sugar. We haven't heard from Sugar in a while. Puts it up and he nails it. Sugar getting back at the scoring touch. 15 points on the afternoon. And we got a timeout. 6.32 to go. 7 point lead for the Hawks. Sugar once again being the catalyst here. everybody following this contest will have our post game show and then later this afternoon approximately 4 p.m. varsity championship Frisch and North Shore. North Shore last year's JV champions coming back to the Max Turner Athletic Center looking for varsity gold looking to become yet another team assuming Ramaz holds on Ramaz and North Shore both will have back-to-back -back championships on the other platforms now having a JV and a varsity in the last few years TABC looking to upset the apple card here At this point, I, I think every I think we're all counting by the same book. Mandel pulls it to his right. Gets it back from Sachs. Tries entry to Kindler. Back out to Mandel for three. Blanks off the front iron. Saved by Stern. Over to Sachs. Sachs cannot get it to go. Ball rolls around. Sugar picks up the rebound. Seinfeld gets it. Six minutes to go in this championship. Seinfeld, Ohio. Ohio loses the handle, gets it back. Seinfeld picks it out to Sugar. Sugar, short. Stern will pull down the rebound. Counted by Bullfall. Sandell. Sachs. Protects the ball from Sugar. Sacks over to Mandel for another three. Let's it go! Thirteen points for Sacks, and it's now a four-point game. Well, over to Sugar. Sugar on the drive. Gets blocked, and it's coming back the other way for the ABC. Mandel, head of steam, gets it to Stern. Stern, back to Mandel in the corner. Mandel, lets it go, and another three, one point. The lead is down to one. Mandel, for the lead, and it goes. Here in this fourth quarter of play, TBC now with all the momentum. Thirteen 
into the fourth quarter, and TABC outscoring Ramaz 11 to two. Now with a lead, now with momentum, with Segura on the bench now for Ramaz. Your TABC, what are you telling him in this timeout? So yeah, it looks like looks like we were correct. I guess they got that. I guess they got that fixed at the scores table. I guess, we're, I, I guess we can be thankful we're a little vindicated on, on Sakura. Borkov over to Seinfeld. Seinfeld gets it back to Borkov. Borkov over to Seinfeld. I guess it, it still doesn't negate the fact that he's in massive foul trouble. Seinfeld over. Ah, ball. Passed out by Borkov to Segura. Does not go. Segura's first shot of this fourth quarter. Sachs. TABC playing with a little more confidence now. Sachs with the lead on his hands. Refs letting them play both ends of the floor. Kaiser. Kaiser looking for the double after winning the JP. Uh, varsity championship last week. Mandela to fly, does not fall. Oh, Iona with Sugar. Sugar with the three. Back iron. Stern pulls it down, gets it to Sachs. TABC, 325 to go. One point lead. 11-2 front to start this quarter. Coach Osh should just get a jersey on how far out he is onto the floor. Ball back over to Sachs. Sachs for three. Does not get it to go. It's Kindler. Puts it up. Oh, can't get it to go Kaiser pulls it down, puts it back out, and they'll reset, wasting more time, 257 to go. Now with the lead, playing with a little more confidence, back into their game. Hinderlair, ball stripped by Segura. That, that's the difference of Bobby Segura being back in this game. Kleinfeld, four off. Segura. Seinfeld tries to get a load of Ohio. Ohio with two men on him. Back out. Borkov over to Seinfeld. Oh, it's Ohio over to Seinfeld. No, it was, it was Borkov. And Seinfeld with a nifty little floater. Take the lead again. Oh, we're, we're well past that. The question is, will free throws become a factor in the next two minutes? Kindler. Puts it up, with the ball, and in! One point lead to ABC, Kindler, willing it home. Borkov, Borkov, stalled. Puts it over to Sugar, back to Borkov. 1.39 to go. One point lead to ABC, Segura puts up the three, doesn't go, pulled down by Kaiser. To ABC, a minute and a half, 90 seconds. And they're gonna look to set up. Mandel getting across the line on oh, the backcourt, and they're going to bring in a foul, getting fouled out with a foul by Borkov. And that's Borkov's fourth now also. Or, so, wait, they have Borkov up for three. It's a very likely that they accidentally gave one of Segura's fouls to Borkov. Uh, sorry, one of, yeah, one of Borkov's fouls to Segura, and that's the problem here. He Mandel, when it counts, putting it 
home. Two point lead for TABC. Mandel, chance to push out the three with 1.20 to go. Can't get it to go. Sugar gets it to Seinfeld. 117, two point game. by Mandel, Kaiser pulls it down, gets it to Sachs. Kindler is going to have the ball now at the top. Kindler looking to drive, kicks it out, and we're going to get a foul, and that's going to be on. Is that going to be on Ohio? It is on Ohio. Ohio's fourth, so he now has four as well. If you're TBC, this war of attrition has got to be in your favor, even if you happen to lose one. Ramaz is on the verge of losing three. So even this, if this game goes beyond the 32 minutes, you open up overtime, everybody else from the Ramaz side is peeling away. And the way gets at the ball at the line. Three-point game. When it counts, he's three of four this quarter. The last three have fallen, and they have been big ones. Oh, for those watching, timeout called. Seinfeld just decided to throw it up. Nailed, <laughs> nailed it. I guess that's what happens when the pressure is not on, but great shot nonetheless. But 55 seconds to go. Four-point deficit for Ramaz. Ramaz with the ball. What are you drawing up in order to get the ball and then covering for defense after? Thank you again for tuning in to this exciting finish of the MYHSAL 2023 MYHSAL JV Basketball Championship on Max Live and the Yeshiva Sports Network. Thank you again to our sponsor, Nahum Single Network. Great finish coming down to the wire. Four points, ABC lead. TBC coming into this quarter, down eight, now up four. They can smell the championship. Ramos with the ball. Entry to Ohio. Ohio dribbles around, pulls up, and we got a foul. Who's it on? That's going to be on Stern. Segura to the inbound ball. Cannot get it in, but it goes out of bounds off the ABC. Great hand in there by Kinderler but knocks it back off himself, goes out of play. And Mazda got a chance to reset, 46 to go. Seinfeld. Segura. Oh, my own. Sugar. Come, pulls around, tries to pull around. Great play by Kaiser. Work off. Oh, my own. Swing it around the arc. Seinfeld. We have a three from Sugar, falls short. Pulled down by, oh, and we had a timeout. Pulled down by Segura. A little bit of a, a disjointed play. Pulled down by Segura and timeout by Ramaz. 25, 24, 29 to go. Yeah, if you're Ramaz, you also have to be worried about the uh, the foul situation. Because now, you're at nine fouls. Every foul from here on out is going to be two. So you're going to put them on the line. You're going to give them a chance to two. They haven't been exactly uh, technical this afternoon from the line. But in either case, it's every every chance that they now get with 25 seconds to go is a chance to extend it out by getting another bucket. Yep. 
Looks like one. breaking out of their huddle a little late. We'll see where everybody lines up now. Yep, it should be up top. Sugar, tries to drive, doesn't get there. Kicked out to Seinfeld. Seinfeld into OIO. Borkov with 18 to go from three, cannot get it to go. Segura pulls it down. Seinfeld puts it up from three. Does not fall. Kimberlair goes it down. 10 seconds. Everyone gets fouled. The ABC nine seconds away. Two at the line. Um, in the hands of arguably the best player in the league. Hitting his free throws within the last few minutes. Championship. Reigns it! Ice water with 9.2 to go, six point game. So TBC six for eight from the line this quarter after opening up in a dismal three for 10. Kinderler really pacing them back from the line with five himself. Nine points on the quarter. TABC now up six after spending most of the game down by close to, if not over the double digit mark. Really making a comeback. Beginning of this quarter, an 11 to run that has extended itself out now. Lamaz being held to just four points in this quarter. TABC stretching it out with 18 of their own. And we're down with 9.2 to go. Lamaz, Lamaz needs to get a quick one here. And as we said before, clock runs. So TABC could theoretically waste five seconds unless Lamaz has a timeout to call and uses it and wastes it on that. Yeah, when you need six, Ohio drives, throws it out to Segura with four seconds, and it's not going to go. The ABC is going to win the 2023 MIHSAL JV Championship. The ABC Storm, 46 to 40 winners. Championship back to TABC for the first time since I believe I said earlier 2017. came on the opening possession for Lamaz at the court. So down the stretch, the last seven minutes of the game, two points for Lamaz. TABC outscoring them. Four in the quarter, finishing off 46 to 40. Real Please stop. 
shooting basketballs. Please stop shooting the basketballs. Who are we looking at for MVP, Elliot? A lot of people you can go to. You can go with Sachs for his uh, his contributions leading up to the fourth quarter. Uh, Kindler really turning it on the fourth quarter, being the difference maker that he was slated to be in this game. So really could go either way. It's um, the points are literally right there for each other. Uh, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points for Mandel, who finished off with 13 for Sachs. Kindler, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 for Kindler, 13 for Sachs. Really, it's a, it's a coin flip there because both of them were big. Uh, Sachs, uh, really big uh, in the third quarter in the start to lead them back. Kindler finishing it off with uh, great free throw shooting up down the back end, really facing a team that had a really bad day from the line otherwise. So it's really going to be down to, uh, I guess, Coach's choice here about who was the more impactful. In Most valuable player, Yona Mandel. Mandel, if you remember, with the two back-to-back -back threes, if you remember when they started catching back up, Mandel hit the two big threes, um, which really was a momentum shift at that point. So um, really could go any way with this. I, this was a really well-played game, an exceptional game. Both teams, well-coached, uh, really disciplined teams on both sides. Uh, just, a, uh, just a great game. Congratulations to the TBC Storm and to Coach Oz. So we'll be back shortly here. 2023 MYHSAL JV Championship post-game show live on Max Live and the Yeshiva Sports Network. Be back momentarily. My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of a cell. I made my painting from scratch, like really from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning. I was in ninth grade, someone told me to give up on ball. He told me, basketball will only take you so far in life. You're not going to make it to the NBA, he said. What he was missing is that making it to the NBA isn't the only reason why we play. basketball leaves you with so much more than just the game itself. The life lessons and friendships that are made while playing the game will outlive the game and can last a lifetime.
jump back here. So this is the, uh, yet another game, depending on last year. Yeah. Mike's got a little tempted in the half court open. My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of the cell. I made my painting from scratch. Like, really, from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in the headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning. That was pretending to take a back by, by Leifert. Give it to Terrell. Terrell! Get away, Terrell Kumar! Welcome back to the 2023 MYHSAL JV Championship. We're here with Ayal Kindler and Yona Mandel two of the key players in TABC's championship run, the comeback from double digits. Guys, first of all, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Congratulations again. Tell me, down double digits, foul trouble, especially in your case, what are you thinking about in terms of the comeback? How, do you, um, how does it look coming into that third quarter? I mean, the whole thing is really two feet in. Always keep locked in. Always stay in the game. Um, never get out of the zone. It's just a game of runs, so you know, keep getting back in the game. Well, the game of runs with you guys, Yona, was uh, two big threes, uh, you know, in that run. What is Coach Oz saying to you in the huddle down, you guys switching to zone? What's he saying to you guys there? He was just saying, like, keep your head in the game. This game's not over. You know, the, it's not the pressure. Is, uh, like, don't, don't feel it. Just play your game, and that's what we did. Speaking of that pressure, uh, entering the fourth quarter, not a great day from the line, but uh, I out. Five of six from yep. the line, Clutch. ice water. Was there anything said in the in the huddle coming into the fourth in, in terms of the free throw shooting? Um, it was more just me just wanting to get back. I know I was missing in the beginning, so I, I really thought in the fourth quarter I needed to start hitting. So I kind of got locked in, and I started hitting. I got my head in the game. Listen, guys, it's been a great season for you guys from the beginning. Um, cream of the crop on the west side. Now you've shown why you're the best team in the league. Um, take me through a little bit in this playoff run, how you guys felt going in with the playoffs, how you guys were playing and coming into this playoff and coming to this championship game. Um, yeah, we were super confident because um, obviously we went undefeated. But uh, we thought we were going to play Mag and David and we ended up playing Ramaz. And they gave us a tougher game than we expected. So, yeah, shout out to them. You mentioned undefeated. Talk to me about what a perfect season, because it really is in all, all aspects, and we, we touched on it earlier in the broadcast. All aspects, a perfect season. Talk about what that word means to you guys. I mean, we also did lose in Montreal, so it kind of made it a little bit worse, but <laughs> um, perfect season. Doesn't go on your record, just remember. It doesn't that. go on the record. Um, sure. It feels very good. It feels, I don't know, it probably feels the same as not also going perfect, just being a regular season, but it feels amazing. It feels very good. Well, the banner will say undefeated league champion. So congratulations awesome. to you guys both. Really well job. Great job. Great coaching by Oz. Great team. Nice shooting. Really great job. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon, fellas. Right now we're going to take a short break. We'll come back and we'll recap this game right here from the Max Art Athletic Center on the campus of Chibi University. The 2023 MYHSAL Basketball Championship Sunday.
Okay, I can, uh, I can come back and do a recap. So I don't necessarily need Delby. That's fine. And if W steps back in, W steps back in. Otherwise, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Welcome back to the Max Art Athletic Center on the campus of Yeshiva University. We are here live on Max Live and the Yeshiva Sports Network on myhsal.com for the 2023 JV Championship post game show. Uh, as you uh, saw the game, you're just watching TABC taking home yet another championship. TABC perennial contenders here at uh, the Max Stern Athletic Center, taking home the championship over Ramaz, 46 to 40. Ramaz really giving TABC more than, I guess, e even TABC thought that they would be ha would have to handle today. Um, as you just heard from Yona Mandel and Ayal Kindler, the contest today, certainly not a typical one for them this year. TABC generally taking double digit victories, uh, taking a 15 point victory over Ramaz earlier, and a contest today that saw Ramaz really taking it to them, opening up a double-digit lead uh, well up until the fourth quarter where TABC took a, an 11-2 run to open up and what happened to be an 18-4 run on the quarter in total. Uh, TABC paced in the second half by Kinderler and Mandel, the two people that were just here in the booth. Uh, Kinderler finishing with 14. Mandel 11, neither of them the high scorer on the day. That went to uh, Bob, uh, that went to Nate Sugar in the loss. Sugar with 15, one of the only two players to score for Ramaz in the fourth quarter. Ramaz really pushing themselves out to a, a, a good advantage early on. Double digits uh, with about uh, nine, ten minutes to go, and then things just sort of fell apart. Where did it really fall apart for them, Bobby? I think in the half court set a little bit. When Oz moved them over to uh, the one-two-two uh, zone, I think they got uh, they got a little stagnant, if you will. They they were executing beautifully off the man-to-man -man set, um, and they got a little bit stagnant. They they uh, they went away from what got them there, and that's the high post play off of Ohayon. That's the uh, the three-point shooting. They got some open looks, not great looks, but they did get open looks, which they weren't able to convert. And and and. To be honest, I think the foul trouble with um, with uh, with uh, Ohayon and Segura, excuse me, more Segura really, really hurt them. When he went out, that was that 9-0 run, I believe. Segura is the, the the heart and soul of that team. I mean, they're, they're, they're a talented team, but, but Bobby really makes them go. And uh, that hurt him when he had to come out, which was the right move by the coach, by, by Coach Ellie. Not saying it wasn't, but that, that hurt them clearly. Uh, and then you know they they weren't able to execute in the uh, in the half court set. I believe it was 25 points at the half, right? So you're talking about 15 points total in the second half. You said four in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's uh, it's out executing. And credit to Oz on the excellent um, adjustment in the in the in the at halftime to, to move to the zone, which I thought was the right. Move. Conversely, for TABC, uh, we mentioned it in the third. We mentioned it in the fourth. What went right? I think we have to start the free throw line, especially because they started hitting the most important shots of the afternoon from the line uh, in that fourth quarter going, it looks to be two, four, six, seven, eight of 10, only missing two in the entire quarter. So it's eight points picked up extra from the charity strike. Well, kudos to them, they didn't panic. Great players step up in big moments. Ayal did that, got to the free throw line, the whole team did when they needed to knock down the free throws. I mean, you could make the argument they needed to knock down the free throws in the beginning, but they really needed to when it comes down to the free throws at the end. 
they knocked it down. So uh, a really nice job by them. And of course, the, the great all-around play by, by the people who didn't show up uh, either on the scoreboard as much or at, at, at all, although it looks as if uh, everybody who was sort of in the game uh, for TABC managed to find their way onto the score sheet. But uh, the, the props to, to Sammy Levine really being the catalyst in that second quarter, uh, bringing it back to a tie game almost single-handedly with his defense in the, in the press and the three-pointer. And uh, Benzion Kaiser now getting his second championship in two weeks, uh, mm -hmm. taking, uh, taking, playing a key role in both the TABC JV hockey and JV basketball, pulling off the double and really robbing us of a chance at the MYHSAL rainbow. Uh, potentially six different teams finding their way, six different schools finding their way to a major championship. TABC now killing that with uh, two, both of them in JV this year. So, yeah. uh, sorry. No, I was going to say, congratula yeah, congratulations to Ben Sion, to his father, uh, Ethan Kaiser. Um, you know, they, they, they put their heart and soul into this. I did want to, to, to mention one other point. You mentioned all those guys again. Ezra Stern, to me, was was a very big X factor. I mentioned it going in. Um, he made me right. You know, you, you sort of like as a coach when you design a play and it works great on an out-of-bounds play and they hit the shot, the coach looks like a genius. But sort of when you when you talk about in a play-by-play -play or a color commentating situation about an X factor and then that person comes to fruition, you kind of look good about it. So, you know, Ezra got the opportunity. I thought he was going to be a difference maker because of his size and athleticism to compete against Ohayon where you didn't have to have that with Eyal, which then subsequently allowed Eyal to focus more on his offensive side, uh, on the offensive end. Stern with two points on the afternoon, but most of his contribution, as you just said, off the score sheet and what it allowed TABC to do down the stretch. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the Nakam Single Network. Uh, you can catch the JM and the AM cast every morning live coverage of Jewish music, Israel news, and Torah segments. Tune into JM and the AM every weekday morning on the Nachum Siegel Network app, Nachum Siegel Network. And again, Tuesday morning, JM and the AM sports update, where we will provide a full recap of this afternoon's uh, goings on, both on the JV and the varsity end. Uh, clock reads uh, right now almost 3 o'clock, which means we have about another hour before our uh, varsity game tips off. They're going to let everybody file out, have everybody file back in on the um, on the varsity end, and we will see everybody from there. We'll see you in about an hour again. Thank you for joining us on Max Live in the Yeshiva Sports Network's presentation of the Metropolitan Yeshiva High School Athletic League Junior Varsity Basketball Championship. Thank you again to my partner, First JV Basketball and New Jersey coaching legend Duffy Foreman, for providing amazing insight and knowledge to the broadcast. We'll be back around uh, 345, I imagine, for the varsity championship as you see the Frisch Cougars uh, filing in. Uh, for that, you will need to either click the link on the bottom of this uh, video or go to the MYHSAL homepage at myhsal.com. Uh, we will see you in about an hour. Look forward to seeing you for that contest between North Shore and Frisch. For W myself, Max Live, and the Yeshiva Sports Network, congratulations to the TABC Storm 2023 champions of the MYHSAL JV Basketball League.